There is some breaking news. Mike, I'd like to hear your reaction to this. Allen Robinson has been tagged by the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears still don't have their quarterback situation figured out. They are allegedly in for Deshaun Watson. They're in for Russell Wilson. Ryan Pace, their uh, GM, said, I'm keeping all options on the table. Quarterback, they now franchise tag Allen Robinson, who allegedly turned down a $16 million a year deal to go back to Chicago. One year, one more year for an incredibly talented wide receiver on a team that could potentially go completely up in flames next year or be good again. I mean, it is mm -hmm. no idea what's going to happen. You like this move or hate this move, Paisan? I, I think you got to protect your team, right? I think you have to, you know, Cam Robinson with the Jaguars. Is he worth 13-7? No, but to replace him, it's going to be a lot more. Allen Robinson's the same thing. He doesn't want $16 million? Fine, we'll give him the franchise number at less. We'll rent him for a year and we'll go on with life. I think it's probably the smart move. You protect yourself. Hunter Henry out in out in Los Angeles. You know he was going to get a boatload of money. They're, it's cheaper just to franchise them. It gives the team a year, and then they can see where the cap is. Now it restricts you cap wise in terms of what you want to do, but overall building your team, you're renting this player for a year. And you have the right to trade him if you want. If somebody wants to come in, you can hold his rights. If somebody wants Allen Robinson, you got a chance. You own his rights, so you could trade. For, they can trade you. They have to deal with you first. So it's a smart play. I think if you can do it now, when you tie up this much cap room and you're the Bears and you still need a quarterback, you're gonna have to solve that problem some way. Hunter Henry has been officially no notified that he'll be released from the Chargers, so they're not, they're not gonna franchise tag him. But when you talk. <laughs> Boatload. He's going to be like he's going to be the prettiest girl in school. He's <laughs> Everybody's going to want him. Everybody's going to want him. He will be a huge free agent signing because the tight end position in pro football is somewhere to control the middle of the field. There's so many guys that want that. So. You know, I think he's going to be he, – Hunter Henry is a lucky guy right now. Okay, so Allen Robinson's franchise tag will be higher than the standard wide receiver price, costing the Bears $17.88 million. This is just coming out right now. It says because of his 2020 compensation, Allen Robinson's tag will be higher than the standard wide receiver price. That's being – that's from Spotrack, who has all this – what does that mean? Well, I don't know what that means. Well, I mean, because they, he's got to get 120% or the franchise number. So whatever's oh. higher, he gets by franchising them. Okay, and the franchise tag, let's go back to that, because the way you were talking about how it's a one-year rental and then we can't afford what he's going to be, because he was asking 18 a year, so I guess this is $120,000 cheaper than that, I guess, <laughs> which is interesting, but it's only for but one. So it's cheaper in the sense I don't have to give you a lot of cash up front. I pay you on a. I pay you on a. It's like renting a home. I don't have to put a down payment down. I, I you come in, you sign the tender, you'll get one seventeenth of that money. You'll get a million dollars a game, basically to play. And then when the season's over, I have no. I, I have no dead money following you. Life goes on. It's a rental. It's like it's how we get into rental homes. You know, it's just easier. Players hate the franchise tag because it's not long-term stability. Listening to you talk about the franchise tag from a general manager standpoint, that's never going to be something that gets removed from the CBA, I don't think. I don't think it will be. I mean, it's obviously going to be in there for 10 years. It does the players well. I mean, look, every quarterback, <laughs> Aaron, Russell Wilson, they're all benefiting from the Dak Prescott contract. You know, look, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is sitting in Green Bay or wherever he's sitting right now saying, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Dak's making, wait a minute, Dak just got 41 and I'm at 33. $75 uh, million dollars this year? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Murphy, you know, so I, I think, I think that that's, that, that it's, even though the players complain about it in the long term, it creates water to seek its level. It rises the tide around it. Oh, oh God damn, that's good.